Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, I want to uh, talk about uh, two things. Uh, so basically, uh, one thing is going to be another custom view modifier that we're going to be creating. But before that, I want to talk to you about uh, the um, a hidden uh, aspect of content. So uh, whenever you hide uh, content uh, within Swift UI, like you know some view that you hide um, uh, using is uh, using hidden uh, view modifier. Uh, what happens in that case? So does the view actually goes away or still lives in the uh, in the view hierarchy? So if you look at uh, your um, your layout debugger you're gonna find out that view is actually gone as soon as you set that to be hidden it's no longer uh, listed inside the layout tree but the placeholder it, it actually takes the place uh, where the view was so whatever uh, uh, space that we was taking is actually gonna stay there and when view appears basically next time that uh, that um, uh, that view is basically uh, gonna appear in that space so there's no more like space adjustment or recalculation is gonna happen um, now if you want a different side of the um, like you know if you want to achieve a different kind of result from this basically what you want to do is you want to um, uh, you want to claim that space or you you want your element to claim that space when the view is removed uh, that kind of effect can be achieved by something called empty view okay so let me show you the difference okay so this is the view the bottom one that actually is hidden so if you look at it so it hides but it keeps the placeholder so um, basically uh, the, in this edge stack uh, the button retains its position and there's an empty cell here now uh, take a look at this one this is where we are using uh, empty view and as soon as i click hide and remove it basically takes over uh, the entire space and even this space is shrunken down because uh, this text uh, height is no longer the height that's deciding the size of the height of the cell okay so that's actually what happens when you have empty view so just want to uh, bring it to your attention like you know that there is a component called empty view that you can use if you want to achieve something uh, some kind of effect that actually claims that uh, space now um, jumping on to how do we create that so we're gonna actually create a custom modifier that can actually help us uh, do hide or remove um, and uh, with this uh, helpful functionality so let's go ahead and uh, create that okay so I'm gonna actually remove this uh, struct here uh, the preview one and I'm gonna put that uh, put somewhere something else in place uh, not string struct is hidden and this is gonna be a view modifier you're gonna have two um, two variables is hidden And we're gonna have remove both of them are gonna be of boolean type okay and when we initialize we're gonna initialize is hidden and um, remove All right, now we're gonna say our body is gonna be created and we can actually return a group. So we're gonna group our views and we can say if is hidden, okay? And if remove is also true, return an empty view, All right? So this is actually a view in Swift UI, else return content dot hidden. Okay, so apply hidden property on that. Otherwise, if uh, it's not, if his hidden is basically false, then return the content. Okay, so this is gonna be our modifier, uh, as simple as that. Now let's go ahead and try it out uh, with uh, this uh, sample uh, that we are gonna create. Time. We're not gonna extend um, view in this case. We're just gonna apply it as a view modifier. So private var hide remove okay 
in our body we're going to create a VSAC an HSAC Give a foreground and background color. Uh, we can apply the modifier with dot modifier, and we're gonna give it our modifier is hidden. And in this case, our hidden is gonna be hide remove and uh, hide remove. Okay, so we're gonna hide and remove, and uh, um, that's actually gonna basically hide and remove the elements, basically replacing it with the empty element or empty view, and. Uh, we're going to animate this with spring animation and we're also going to put a button here that we can click button button takes uh, an override that has uh, just uh, remove uh, basically that has um, that takes uh, the, the name if you're just passing a string uh, just a simple view um, so you don't need like you know fancy text uh, or fancy label for the button then you can just so use this override and it takes uh, action so we can say hide remove dot toggle okay that's gonna be our one h stack I think this ending here and uh, we're gonna create another h stack and this one is gonna be the second one um, keeping the placeholder so h stack text I'm gonna say So all these same things actually. So we can take this and uh, hide and uh, keep placeholder. Okay, and uh, this is not going to be hide remove, hide keep, hide keep. It's gonna toggle, and we're not gonna remove. So we're just gonna return false here, um, and rest remaining everything is gonna be same. Okay. Let's go ahead and run this. All right, so we should get a view. There we go, two views and hide and remove. Um, okay, so this should be hide, keep, wrong observer uh, or wrong state element. Um, there we go. Okay, so hide and remove. All right, and hide and keep placeholder. All right, so now you saw like, you know how you can use empty view to replace basically your view where you don't want to show the placeholder and if you want to show the placeholder just use regular hidden okay so along with that we also learned to create another uh, cool view modifier so hopefully this view modifier concept is kind of like settling in um so cool that was it for this video and uh thanks again for watching i will see you guys in next video